Today, we are running the 323 route. We're pulling up to the departing stop on Cannon Road, far side College Boulevard. This is where we start our route. This route runs from the College Boulevard Sprinter Station to the Carlsbad Sage Creek High School via Monroe and El Camino Real, and it does not serve as Quarry Creek. The northbound is run in the afternoon and the southbound in the morning. We will start on the northbound, starting at Sage Creek High School, which is just behind us on the right. Continue west on Cannon until El Camino Real and make a right. Turn left on Chestnut, which is this stoplight at the top of the hill. Notice a beautiful ocean view, this Carlsbad. This road is curvy and narrow, so be sure to stay in your lane. Coming up, this light is Monroe, and this is the Carlsbad High School, so be aware of students getting out of class. Wait until the crosswalk is clear before pulling ahead. Square your turn and rock and roll to clear all of your blind spots.
Continue straight on Monroe, through the Hoss Grove, to the Plaza Camino Real Transit Center. The bottom of the hill, stay on the left lane. The right lane is a turn only lane. Pull into the transit center and park at stall number one, which is shared with Lip. Keep your speed down in the transit center. Speed limit's five miles per hour. Stop at the crosswalks. Stop here and watch your left for oncoming traffic. Make a left turn on Monroe. Make a left turn on Marin. and continue straight across El Camino Real. staying on Marin until the end. Turn right on Avenida de Anita. Anita is a narrow windy neighborhood street. Keep your speed down. Make a left on Carlsbad Village Drive.
This is the Carlsbad Village, Santa Clara Way time stop. The best landmark for this stop is a dog park on the north side of the street. Now continue on Carlsbad Village Drive. This eucalyptus grove is one of Carlsbad's little secrets. It's beautiful. Make a left on college and continue down the hill. Quarry Creek is on the left, but this route skips that area. Make a ride on Lake Boulevard. Your next left turn is Skyhaven. It is at the top of the hill here at this light. Make a left. Skyhaven runs through a senior citizen neighborhood. Be a good neighbor. Keep your speed down to 25 miles. And watch these big speed bumps. We now come to Sunset Drive, 
be careful making this turn. This is one of those turns that as soon as traffic clears on the left, then it starts on the right, coming around that blind corner. So just take your time, proceed with caution. Sunset turns into Emerald. Stay in the right lane as you cross the 78. You will meet customers with differing needs daily. For example, you may be a parent with an infant, a person who cannot read or speak English, or a visually impaired person who needs your help boarding safely. In your capacity as a professional bus operator, you will be judged not only by customers with the various needs themselves, but also by their fellow customers who will be watching you closely as you interact with them. That gives us, as operators, many opportunities to project a caring, concerned, and professional manner. This is the West Drive, Emerald Drive time stop. Now continue on Emerald. Make a left turn on Olive. Then get into the left lane. You want to be in the left lane as soon as you turn back onto college. This dip is deep, so take your time so you don't bottom out. If the right lane is a lot steeper, you don't want to make the turn from that lane. Plus, you will be making a left turn on Oceanside Boulevard right after the turn. Get ready to stop at the tracks. Turn on your flashes, tap your brakes to let cars behind you know that you are stopping. Stop behind the white 15-foot line, check for trains, and proceed when safe. Turn your flashes off once the bus has cleared the tracks. Make a left onto Oceanside Boulevard.
end your ride on Oceanside Boulevard at the stop near Side Avenue to Del Oro. This is the College Sprinter Station. We are now going to run the 323 southbound, started from Oceanside Boulevard, ending at Sage Creek High School. So let's get the bus turned around. Make a right, Avenue to Del Oro. Make a left on College Latino. A stop to the right is a layover area if you need it. Continue to the end of Cali Platino, make a U-turn. Turn to Avenida del Oro, make a right. Make a left on Oceanside Boulevard. This is the College Boulevard Sprinter Station. Let's start our run. Continue on Oceanside Boulevard. Make a right, College Boulevard. After making your right turn onto College, you'll want to service this stop to the right here. After servicing that stop, you will need to stop at the tracks and to get into the far left lanes to make your left turn onto Olive. Be sure to plan your move. If there's traffic coming, you may not be able to get over, and then you'll be off route.
Let's try that again. Service a stop. Check the stoplight behind you at Oceanside Boulevard and College. Once it begins to stop traffic, now's the time to make your move. Turn on your flashers, make a complete stop at the tracks at the 15 foot white line. Proceed when safe. Get into the left lane and make a left on all of them. Right on Emerald Drive. Sometimes, in spite of our best efforts, disruptive behaviors can occur. Avoid confrontations with customers, no matter what the cause. Many disruptive episodes can be avoided or turned around if we are able to anticipate potential problems. The more we get to know our customers, the easier this will be. It is most important to remember not to take a person's behavior personally. Some people have mental disabilities or mental illness and are acting out because of anxiety, not because of you. Knowing this, if you respond in an aggressive, defensive manner, the situation will probably escalate. But if you respond in a calm, courteous manner, the situation will likely diffuse. Your first statement in a tense situation will influence the attitude of the customer. Arguing will only provoke a confrontation a good opening line is, I'm sorry, what can I do for you? How can I help you? I'm here to help you. Our goal is to provide everyone with a safe, enjoyable experience and to get them to their destination in a timely manner. Remember, don't take it personally. Make a right on Skyhaven Lane. Make your ride on Lake Boulevard. Left on college. right on Carlsbad Village Drive.
Make a right, Avenida de Anita. Left, Marin Road. Right, Monroe Street. Go through the Plaza Camino Real. Stall number one. Left Monroe Street. If a customer attempts to board without the proper fare or with an invalid pass, the operator can request the appropriate fare once, and only once, and then allow the customer to board. Operators will not engage in fare disputes. The operator will not attempt to confront, deny service to, or eject any passenger from a coach due to a fare dispute. But if a customer makes a habit of providing insufficient or no fare, the operator should contact the dispatcher, push the event button, and continue in service unless otherwise instructed. Operators are to make a reasonable attempt to collect the proper fares and valid transfers. A polite request and reminder should always be the approach. If the customer has no fare, politely tell them. They may write this time, but please have the appropriate fare the next time. Always give your customers the benefit of the doubt. Left Cheston Avenue.
right now Camino Real. Left on Cannon Road. NP Transportation was originally founded in an effort to help the community's most vulnerable citizens. The service was started because it was the right thing to do for members of a community who seemed to be forgotten. This commitment to people remains firmly in place throughout MV today. In fact, we still operate under the founder's guiding principles. The needs of people drive our company, literally and figuratively. People come first, always. And that means providing the right transportation services at the right time and the right price. Our experience and commitment to quality will greatly benefit your service. In partnership with you, the operator, we will share new ideas, bring new technologies, and explore new ways to improve mobility in your community. Left on College Boulevard. The end is a stop on College Boulevard, far side Canada, at Sage Creek High School. Congratulations. You have completed the Route 323 round trip, northbound, southbound. MV, thanks you for your service.